Salutations, it's your old power revenge creature, and uh, I'm back with a special guest star, April, over there. And uh, just wanted to show off a few of these vintage card backs that I found uh, while going through my attic. I'm in the process of downsizing and organizing my collection, and something that's been long overdue. And I found these and decided to go ahead and get a binder and just kind of throw them in there. That's why they has this. It has this just generic. Uh, handwritten sign on there. Anywho, so uh, let's go ahead and get uh, start. Take a look here. <laughs> okay, so um, the first one here is uh, the first ones are from GI Joe. Um, this is Mutt and um, Junkyard, um, and this was purchased at a Kmart for two forty seven. And this is the nineteen eighty five series. Well, it's an eighty four character, um, but if you look on the back. You'll see that the 85 characters are listed here. Uh, this is actually an unpunched card, so that's kind of cool. There's his um, file card, if you want to take a look at it. Sorry about the shadow. Um, it's just a weird time of the afternoon, so the sun's coming through at a weird angle. Anywho, uh, then this uh, was purchased at a Hills department store for, it looks like, $2.97. And Hills um, became a target uh, in this area. Um, prior to that, I believe they were called Venture. Uh, we didn't have any in my city, but about 40 minutes away, we had there was a couple of uh, hills over there. And uh, I remember they had cool displays on the end caps. They'd have like uh, the toys set up in these cool dioramas to let you know, you know, uh, just give you an idea of their play features and stuff. That was really cool. So uh, Footloose here. There's Footloose, and uh, this is the Triple Win Game Sweepstakes. This was on, on in 1985. Uh, let me see if I can get that to where you can read it without the um, the blur on it. <clears throat> and uh, there's the actual, the fine details. Um, let's see if I can get that to focus there. Um, yeah, and uh, I remember the Dreadnoughts um, that I got uh, on Christmas of 85, they all had um, that triple win thing. And you can see um, this still features some of the 84 characters um, on there, um, but it is dipping into um, 85. Actually, uh, yeah, 84. 84 and 85. Okay, so next, uh, jumping ahead to, I believe this is 86, um, we have, uh, they've gone to up to three, uh, 344. This is Crazy Legs, and they've also gone from the explosion type background to this more digital. Uh, digitized uh, packaging um, and uh, this has an offer on it as well this is the get a fridge uh, action figure and um, that was five special proofs of purchase and a dollar handling uh, he was based on a real person uh, William Refrigerator Perry he was a football player I'm not 100% sure of the team that he played for because I really didn't follow uh, sports much as a kid but uh, Anywho, uh, maybe somebody can leave it in the comments. Uh, and then this is uh, how to put his gear on, um, which is pretty cool. Pretty, you know, like detailed instructions on how to put his parachute pack on. Okay, and let's see, whoops. Uh, and then like the back of his card. And then they also went from a peach to a gray, uh, gray file cards. So take a look at his file card there. And then you can see the uh, 86 characters are starting to come on to the cards now, and even 87. So this was an 86 card back with 86 and 87 fi figures. Um, no more um, 85. These are all, uh, yeah. So from here on out, we're looking at uh, 86 and forward as far as characters go. Uh, now here's a couple years later. Um, now Walmart has gone to 383 on theirs. Uh, where it came out uh, a year before, where they were 344. This is the second version of Rock and Roll, and um, you know he's the one that came with these crazy. He came with two of these cannons that uh, just crazy, um, a wild figure indeed. And I mean, this is when they were still price. I mean, I still guess they still price tags on, some price tags on stuff, but it's just cool to see it like that. Um, and then there's a look at his file card real quick. Um, and then we have the uh, figures from this year. This was 88. So we're looking at 88 and the Alley Viper on there. So these are just the 88 figures for the most part. Nope, 89. There's Alley Viper. So this was an, um, an 88 figure purchased in 89. 
Um, cat sneeze, if you heard that. Next up is uh, the Battle Force 2000 character DJ. There's DJ. And um, I don't know how much somebody took the price off of him. He must have been a gift. And then um, there's the card back. Um, again, this is 80, 88, but 89 characters also. Um, now, most of the, to my knowledge, most of the Battle Force 2000 characters sold in two packs, and they were exclusive to Toys R Us, or maybe they were sold everywhere, but uh, they were in two packs. And I believe this was the only character that was sold as a single card. Now, I could be wrong. I know they released some of the figures through the Fun School company in India, uh, single carded, uh, some of the guys from the two packs. Okay, and here is a Cobra Crimson Guard. Uh, looks like someone's removed that price tag as well. Um, I picked mine up at a toy store called Thornberry Toys, and I feel that this thing was pushing four dollars, or it might have been even four dollars, uh, because my mom was pretty upset that I wanted to buy a toy at that place, but when I saw this guy, I just absolutely loved it. I mean, I, I can't remember if I'd seen him in the comics yet or not, but, uh, this, just the design, the red and the silver, and it's just a really, really cool uh, figure um, and I've actually let's see this one is um, this has this has 83 through 85 on it uh, and this one does as well so I've got a second card back here um, this one came from a Kmart uh, 247 and again it's just the exact same card back same um, same file card same character uh, selection um, uh, just have two of them <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Then we have the uh, Televiper. Uh, he came from Kmart. He was 247. This was a 1985 character. Uh, has uh, some of these last ones here have their file uh, uh, flag points cut out. That's what it's called. So pretty cool art on him. I thought it was cool in the cartoon how what they would say would go across their visor. So that was kind of a neat um, thing they did in the cartoon. And there's his file card and um, the characters. Okay, next up is a Snow Serpent. Now, the Snow Serpent is another 1985 Cobra uh, figure that I bought at Toy, uh, excuse me, Thornberry Toys. And uh, like I've told before, I chose him over Snake Eyes, which a lot of people, you know, the 85 Snake Eyes is a lot of people's favorite figure. But this guy, I mean, it's just so cool and had all the accessories. You know, he had a backpack, snowshoes, a rocket launcher. He had the parachute pack. He had the AK-47, an iconic rifle there. Just a really, really great figure. Um, and so there we go. Uh, Got to take a pause. And